Yo, what up, YouTube? I'm Shotgun Shogun. It's Wednesday, and normally I don't make a patch notes video on the off Wednesday because, well, there's not really too much to talk about on the off week, right? Uh, no maintenance. Um, or no, do we have, we don't have maintenance tonight. Yeah, I don't think we have maintenance tonight. We don't have maintenance on the other. Yeah, no maintenance. It literally says that right here uh, at the top because, well, there's not really too much going on. Um, now, the reason why I'm making this, though, as you might have seen from the thumbnail and or the title of this video, uh, is what will be coming after this week and why you need to be preparing already because there's, well, speculatively, why you need to be ready and preparing but so we're getting the last part of the side story for the game of princes right uh so make sure that you're going to finish this up because this is going to go through the uh well it is going to be going through the 17th so you got a week to finish everything up um probably should be already pretty close to finished anyways we're going to go through and you know have the culmination of the uh incest tag game of thrones epic seven story right um I've actually really been enjoying the the story so far. I think that the writing is really good. Uh, and I think that um, a lot of people who don't like this just don't like story, right? Uh, I think that it is kind of interesting. I like to see how they branch out. Side stories, especially like the three week long side stories, I feel like those have to focus more on story. Well, one, you have three weeks to tell a whole story instead of just like a, you know, a one and done, you know, a Hua Young side story type of deal. So I do like that they're kind of going a little bit harder on these types of things. And I think that, you know, when it comes to side stories, the side, the story is the content, right? Thus why it's literally called the side story so it's not going to be much different uh everything is going to be going through you're going to keep going through your case files you're going to still have i thought this was kind of interesting like at the ends of the stages where you have to like the pick the pick the text obviously you could just go through it a couple times or just ask somebody on discord or chat or whatever um what the answers are but like trying to look at the clues i know the first time i went through it um I was really bad. I was like, man, this doesn't even make any sense whatsoever. Like, why would it be this answer? And then, you know, somebody would explain it to me. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that, I guess that makes sense. I guess it makes sense. Whatever, man, whatever, dude. Um, we're going to get blood demon gems, uh, eternal forest dust, flame of souls. So make sure that you make sure that you do clear out the store, the store, but you want to make sure that you are holding on to some extra energy and you're gonna wanna hold on to some leaves. Now we just went through the hunt buff, right? Hey, what's up, Miss Goomba? Uh, we just went through the hunt buff. So a lot of people burnt a lot of their leaves. Now, why is that going to be detrimental for you? Oh yeah, Crow and Urvalen, but let's be real on the cusp of a collab are, is anybody really rolling for these? especially Urvalen, come on, man. And not only that, but like, if you don't have Crow by now, you're probably super new and I would still suggest limiteds over Crow. Crow's gonna spook you at some point. Uh, this is this is why you need to, to save your energy and be a little bit conservative here because we are gonna be getting Jacko. Now this is last week's uh, notice. Um, here's what my speculation is going to be, uh, right here. We're going to get the reveal for Jacko next Wednesday. The Guilty Gear collab is going to start next Wednesday. However, I don't think that we're going to get Jacko on day one. I think that we're going to get a, if we do, uh, we'll have the triple limited banner like we had last time alongside of Jacko. Kind of like how last time, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comment sections or in chat, um, we had the triple limited banner and then Elfelt. Did we have Elfelt at the exact moment that we had it? Like, was she out right away? I don't think that she was. I think that we had the triple banner and then we had Elfelt a little bit, a little bit later. Now, here's my thing 
with the fact that this is Guilty Gear Strive, right? And we watched some stuff about the lore of Strive and Jacko and stuff like that last night. Uh, that video will be up later after I edited it. This is, you know, easy. The other one, I have to edit stuff out, put some stuff out. I think it was in the second week. Yeah, I think it was in the second week as well. That way it gives us like a little bit of time. Um, they could make a group banner for the older ones. Well, that's what they did last time around. Um, that's what they that's what they did the last time around. So they'll definitely do it again this time. Uh, but it'll be it would be a quad banner. This no, it'd be a trip. Would it be a triple banner? Dizzy Elf felt No, it'll be a triple banner. Yeah, because last time I think it was a dual banner or you could just pick. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. It was a year ago. Like, I, like I've said before, I don't remember what I did last week. OK, um, there's just so much. Uh, I don't remember what I did last week, uh, but. I think it'll be interesting to see how it goes, right? Because the last couple of times we have had the same story. And then when Elf Elk came in, it was the same story plus a little bit with Elf Elk, right? Now, I don't necessarily think that they're going to do the same story with Elf Elk, with Jacko. I honestly think that this is going to be a whole brand new story. I think that this is gonna revolve around Strive. I think that since Jacko's the main character in, in this, I think that this is going to be very Strive-centric, and I think it's gonna be a completely different story. Now, with that said, there's absolutely no way that they do not put in a node to farm Portrait of the Saviors. It's it's a it's too important of an art of, of a artifact for them to for them to switch it out. So I think what we do is we get the we get the triple limited banner. The next week we get Jacko, so we get two weeks of Jacko with uh, probably two to three weeks of the limited banner, uh, the triple limited, and then. That makes that makes a three week Guilty Gear collab because I don't think that's going to be a two week. Uh, it wouldn't make sense to be a two week. This is, you know, it's it's a Guilty Gear Strive collab. Um, I also want. Oh, yeah. Talk about FGO. Um, so I think that it's going to be a completely different story. But what would be interesting is if they add in like a new farmable artifact alongside of portrait that would be very very um energy greedy i think that like during this time like if you're not just prioritizing your energy usage on farming portraits uh you're probably doing it wrong take a break from hunts stop you know get out of hunts go farm yourself up four or five uh mlb portraits now i've seen some people they're like bro i'm farming 15 mlb portraits i what are you going to do with all those? What are you going to do with 15? And, and for real, real talk, let me know in the comments section how many portraits you have and how many portraits you actually use. Because like if we come over here, like I have a fair amount of portraits, right? I don't even I don't even use all of my portraits. Um I have I have four portraits. I use at most 2 to 3. Now I may farm up another one just for some openers. Uh, one of the big things with with portrait as well is that symbol of unity uh, outclasses portrait. Now symbol of unity, you know, you can only get one of them. Again, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get a refresh of symbol of unity in the guild shop. Uh, just gonna throw that out there, Smilegate. I am a little bit disappointed. Now, here's the thing. If you're like a cleaver, if you're like a high aggro player, if you're not just like a, a snore fest, you know, boomer brain bruiser tank player, um, then portrait, you know, portrait's more important. Like, you know, having that increase 20% when their health is 50% or more. Uh, yeah, it is a better tonfa. Yeah, 100%. It's a free, free, you still have to use energy, but it's a free, better Tonfa um, at the end of the day. So definitely make sure. Yeah. And I have I have one of them. I have one on Celine and I have one on Shu. Yeah. 
it is what it is, man. Like I said, I got four. I might farm another one just so that like I I could switch like with World Cup mode coming up and like the the stacking bands and stuff like that. Having to learn how to play variety instead of just Boomer Brain uh, for a long time. Um, I feel like I do need to have like that diverse like aggro opener portrait world um so i do think that i personally will farm a couple of more just so that i have portraits for a, a much deeper more diverse pool uh, but if you're a newer mid-game player i would 100 percent farm out probably f three to four of these um i think that if you get to the if you get to four you're probably set you're probably good uh, in before the new strive artifact is a better Draco play that would power creep. If it's going to be a four star free artifact, it would power creep a three star. Probably I have eight portraits using none at the moment. Aggro player, by the way. Yeah. I mean, you'll see so many people and I can almost guarantee you right now that you're going to see, you're going to see a bunch of videos that are going to go, bro, farm up 27 maxed out portraits. You got to farm all of them. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They are a better Tonfa. They're, they're good-ish for Cleave. I think Cleavers still use them. Um, but I think, I think three, three, I, I think I'll shoot for two to three. Anything else sounds overzealous. Yeah. I mean, if four, I feel like four max for most players. Now, like I said, I'm sure that there's somebody out there who has like eight of them and they're on eight different characters. But I do think that while portrait is probably, you know, one of the most important things out of the collab, um, going too crazy ham, I uh, just isn't isn't really worth it. But getting three or four is probably probably your safest bet. Now, one of the other things that I am kind of speculating here and thinking about is the fact that we may get buffs for the guilty gear characters or uh, exclusive equipments we may get ees for these guilty gear characters because at this point a lot of the guilty gear characters are are niche at best like a, a dizzy now that a lot of people don't ever use immunity anymore, um, can be very niche, right? You'll see a lot of people that will tell you, you must pull by Ken. By Ken, Banshee 13, literal God. But at the same time, you can do Banshee 13 one shots without, um, Without without Biken, you can do it with Urvalen. You can do it with the Mighty Scout. Uh, you can, if you have Lucy, you can do a pseudo one shot. There's a lot of people now uh, that became Banshee one shotters. Uh, so I I don't think that any more like does Biken absolutely help you with Banshee thirteen? Yeah, one hundred percent. But is Biken an absolute must have for Banshee 13 like she used to be? I don't think so anymore. I really don't think that she is anymore. Now, what I would like to see is three different EEs that change the way that the character plays. Very similar to like how Fire Meru has magic with friends, right? That changes the way that she works. Um... I think that that would be really, really cool. Or if Biken got speed on her EE so that you could use her as like a theoretical opener, speed aggro. There, I've always, always wanted to use Biken in RTA. Like, I love Biken. I love the aesthetic. She's super hot. Uh, her kit is super good. Um, I would love to have by Ken be a presence somewhere. I mean, there was a period of time where portrait was absolutely an essential thing. I, I agree with you, Dire Polar Fox, but I do think that it has fallen off in favor of certain other things. Again, symbol of unity, just hard power creeps 
uh, your um, your portrait. So that's one portrait down, right? So if you were going to use four, you really only need three now because symbol of unity is going to be on somebody that would have previously used, uh, you know, a portrait. I, I think that's one of the reasons too why they didn't put out another symbol of unity because symbol of unity is ridiculous. Um, I mean, I would instant like I do not spend my armbands just in case they put that in so I can instantly max out another copy. Uh, but I would like to see by Ken get some love. Now, I'm thinking either EEs or just potentially buffs. Yo, what's up, Poon Tycoon? I love your name, by the way. Um, Dizzy again. I think Dizzy got hard stuck by immunity, right? Um, now, I won a Luna statue with a DPS Dizzy. Uh, it was a good time. People didn't expect it. It was great. I loved it. Uh, but I would like to see Dizzy be able to be used more often. Um, I know I think Rifferu uh, in chat uh, uses uses Dizzy from time to time. Um, Elfelt uh, could definitely use a little bit. Uh, she's not really used much as an opener. Um, anymore. Now, I remember a couple of people using uh, in certain situations using Elfelt as an opener. Uh, again, Elfelt, really great character design. Uh, I would love to see, you know, I would love to see her get something. Um, you know, even if they're just like minor buffs. But uh, here's like one of the big things, right? If they don't give some sort of EE or they don't give some sort of buff to these three characters, a lot of people are going to just go, you know what? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Uh, Poon Tycoon, I have a video on uh, on gearing, like the theory of gearing. Um, I can I can uh, hit you up with that one second. Uh, but here's the thing, like, I think that if they don't have some sort of, of buff, a lot of people are going to look at it and be like, nobody uses Dizzy anymore. Uh, nobody really uses By Ken except for Banshee 13, but people still tell you to pull for her for Banshee 13. I do think that she makes Banshee 13 very easy if you, if you, uh, and lowers your gear cap, like lowers the gear requirement that you need for, to be able to kill um elfelt again is going to be one of those units where people are going to be like eh elfelt's good but why wouldn't i just use why wouldn't i just use pieria why wouldn't i just use ran why wouldn't i just use uh you know any other number of openers over elfelt type of deal right uh so i think that we will potentially see some buffs or exclusive equipments coming with these units to entice people to want to pull it's kind of similar with like the last time that luna came around right um i don't think that you know we did see we saw some you know some buff we saw some ee with luna this is why this is how they're going to have to keep units that are limited but like falling off of the meta back to limited again you know to wanting to be um wanting to be pulled right uh, I think that that's what they're going to end up having to do uh, in that. Yeah, so like I, I do think like because you don't have that issue with things like uh, like SSB or Landy, right? Because even though you don't really see much in the way of SSB, SSB still continues to have like a certain level of power. Landy, it was overtuned, so she'll probably never fully fall off of the full off, fully fall off of the uh, off of the wagon. But like, there's a lot of there's a lot of units that whenever they come back around, whenever they're you know uh, they have a rerun stuff like that, they do get like a little bit of a of a boost now one of the things with like limited units like luna stuff like that once they put in the the banner that they were talking about where you can pick what units the the banner where you can kind of mix mix and match whatever i think at that point then they can go oh you know what luna is the way luna is you know, we're not going to run another Luna banner. We're not going to run another DN banner. We're not going to run these if you want it for collection purposes or you just like it or whatever. Uh, yeah, you just you can roll on it on that banner, right? 
um that way because if you run a specific banner then you need to entice people to want to roll on that banner and if it's like a, if it's a unit that's just kind of collecting dust on most people's benches then there's really no good incentive for people to be like oh i have to get this other than the people that are always like roll every limited because they're going to get a buff if they're bad they're going to get a buff roll everything because if they're bad they're going to get a buff uh those people will always roll uh, no matter what the limiteds kit is. Now, here's what I'm going to leave the video off on. And you'll have to watch the Jacko video of us going through it to see kind of where I, I'm coming from here. But I think that Jacko is going to be the first limited light unit. I think that she'll be a light unit. I do not think that we will get... I do not think that she will be an RBG. I think that she'll be the first light unit. And I think that people are going to absolutely lose their shit. They're going to be super mad. But it's a limited unit. You can't imprint it from an RBG. It doesn't matter. They're going to look at it and their brains are going to shut off. And they're going to be like, I'm, I'm so mad, Smilegate. Why would you do this? Everybody's already so mad. Why would you do this, Smilegate? But here's the thing is if it's a limited unit, then it literally doesn't matter. No, it'll be a limited, it'll be a limited moonlight in an in a covenant bookmark banner like it's not going to be a limited mystic banner but there's no way they'll do a limited mystic banner for a collab character 100 percent. that would be that would be stupid but if it's a limited character they can stick it into a covenant banner it doesn't matter the 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 element does not matter if it's a limited character because you can only imprint with that limited character because we've already got fire, we've already got water, we've already got grass. Jacko, her overall look screams light unit, right? A lot of her background kind of feels like a light unit. Uh, so I could see them, I could see them potentially doing that. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Now, I, uh, I could very well be wrong and it'll probably just be another ice ranger uh, because, you know, we don't have enough limited ice rangers. Uh, the other thing too is we had a lot of discussion yesterday and I could not tack down what class I think that Jacko is going to be. Um, I hope it's not a mage. I really hope it's not a mage. I hope it's not a ranger. Um, we don't need any more warriors. I don't think that she's a tank. Some people speculated Soul Weaver. I don't know. Offensive Soul Weaver, maybe. Uh, who knows? Uh, but that's really up in the air. But I do think that she will potentially be light. I think that that'll be the first time. And I think that a lot of people are going to be really big mad. And I'm going to have to explain to people why it's really not as bad as they think it is, especially if you're using Covenant bookmarks. Uh, but I, I know people will just see it and they'll be like, mm, I'm super mad. One problem I think is at some point they still might make her RBG, be RBG, the leave room, ca room in case and uh, leave room in case they want to change the limited system or if they want to put certain limited units in the regular pool. Well, the thing is, is I don't think they've, I think they've said that they won't put collab characters into that, uh, into that pick your own limited banner. So that would completely negate that. Um, if you're rolling for, you know, covenants and stuff like that, I think it'll be, I think it'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about Jacko right now. Uh, Trojan man. Um, I think that it'll be interesting to see what they do because elemental wise, I, I don't think that she fits with an element, like even just from like the visual appearance, right? Um, to be fair though, I mean, I guess L felt really doesn't necessarily fit with like the, f the fire look. Uh, no, that's true. She, that's not true. She's got red roses, right? That's, that's fire right there. Uh, you know, Biken has... Okay, yeah, Biken, Biken doesn't have anything, anything green on her whatsoever. Uh, okay, that just ruined my, my whole theory. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know. But I, I think that it would be interesting to see if that was, like, literally the first 
uh, the first one. From what I understand, the triple banners, heroes that uh, has to be at least six months old. Uh, yeah, but they said no collab characters. Um, they said no collab characters on that on that limited banner. They haven't really said a whole lot like when it's coming or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, but I think that's I think that's uh, I think that it'll be it'll be interesting to see what they what they have. This is my first guilty gear. I'm planning on farming up three of the portraits. Yeah, portraits are three portraits is probably good for you. But anyways, that's it for me in the patch notes video. Uh, I'll have a couple other videos out today. Um, so yeah, if you guys are new here, thank you for watching the whole video. Uh, if you're not new here, thank you for coming back and watching the whole video. And if you're new here, subscribe, like, comment down below. Always helps out the algorithm and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah.